So I've got the cube here in front of me. It's Cube i7. It's a Core M Chinese tablet and it's running Android as you can see, but this is just emulated Android. They advertise the system as having both Windows and Android and that is true, but it's not a proper dual boot. It's not running Android here natively. It's emulating the GPU and the CPU. It seems to run okay. It's um, upscaling to 1080p here from the application and I'll just quickly show you that it's running Android 4.2.2 uh, and it does have the Play Store and you can install applications. They install onto your Windows uh, hard drive and it works that way. And the operating system, the launcher they've got on it is pretty standard, it's very basic. Let's show you a couple of things here that I did install and Tutu managed to run that and well this is what can happen it's only emulating it and I've just had a problem now so it has crashed so I'll have to start that again so back in there running again I'll see if I can show you in Tutu without it crashing so you can see yeah it's not stable that's the score but really, anything that's 3D is quite slow and sluggy. So I don't really honestly recommend it. If you're really desperate to run some kind of Android applications, then you can do it. You can emulate it using this program. But yeah, it's not really the best. You can see here with uh, CPU Z here, just a few settings there. So it, it is listing it as a, well, there's four threads as a two core, dual core four threads and there's some of the information there is correct but you can see here that the GPU renderer is uh, Android emulated OpenGL and speaking of OpenGL I tried to run advertising there Epic Citadel and that crashes it crashes on me that's not gonna work so obviously with some games they're not gonna work I haven't really bothered to try and install any games and run them because it's probably just gonna run like crap and, and be pretty unstable and crash on me, but you can see yeah, the, the Play Store's working, the touch keyboard's working, wireless, all of that sort of stuff. It is all working, but uh, yeah, it's emulated, so it's not that fast, not that snappy, a little bit of lag here and there. And I will show you the actual application, it's got a little bit of Chinese in it. So you can reduce it now, they're back on the Windows here, desktop, and you can run that, in, I was running that in full screen. You do have a few settings here that I'll quickly show you. See some of that's there is in Chinese, but you can adjust the the number of cores or threads that you want the CPU to use with the emulator. You can adjust the RAM usage, so get two gigabytes of RAM allocated to the emulator. There's a resolution, it's 1440 by 810. And you can see Google Maps or some other Chinese maps there, and you've got location of where you want your files to go with an Android, so that's like your hard drive for your downloads, I just set it all to the downloads there. That's pretty much how I've just set the emulator up. If you want to run that, then you can try and set those settings up there yourself. I just put everything onto my documents folder. Seemed to do the trick. If you didn't have that set, then you couldn't download things. They wouldn't install, nothing would install from Play Store. Um, and yeah, something to do with Google Maps there. It's an interesting concept, but yeah, as I said, it's not a proper dual boot, so it's never going to be fast. Uh, Gary, wow, there's nothing there. And you do have access to the accelerometer, that, that will work. Flip it around. Well, maybe not. No, that doesn't seem that's going to be working. It should be working, but it's not, so it's pretty buggy. I'll see if I can run Epic Citadel. You can see already it's lagging just on that. Ooh. <laughs> and it's crashed. Yeah, is it like a, a proper crash? It sounds like a Windows crash. Application's just completely frozen. And yeah, I don't even think I can get back into Windows here. Does not sound good at all. Okay, so I'll just quieten that down so I don't go mad with that noise. So there we go, that is the Cube i7 just running their Android 
application. You can download that emulator for Android for the QI7 off techtablets.com if you are interested. I've mirrored the file there. And yeah, so if you want to check it out, yeah, it's okay, but does it run good? Not really. It's crappy. It crashes. It's slow. Nah. Nah. I'll get a proper dual boot tablet if you're interested in running Android. Or an Android tablet. Uh, so thank you for watching the video, and I'll hopefully see you in my next video. Bye for now.